Murphy Gray Hunter and we are I know it's just been a few moments but we are October 2nd now um, when I made the first video it still was it still was October 1st it was 1130 something 33 34 35 who knows it was a little after 1130 and by the time that I put the two pieces of video together because I stopped to talk to my daughter then I you know so by the time I put both videos together and posted it, uploaded it was after 12. So, wonk, wonk, wonk. I failed. However, I'm not going to fail for today. <laughs> so, I'm doing it now. Might as well, right? So, I'm in my witchy room. And you guys have seen my witchy room. And I'm going to go and show y'all where I was at before. Now, um, let me just give you a little bit of um, information on that. So... I think if y'all have been watching my videos, y'all have seen me do videos, um, y'all have seen me do videos in the classroom where I had my desk in the very beginning. Um, I don't want to sit back in my recliner because then I'll get too comfy and I want to get up. Um, I was in my witchy room, I mean in my, um, classroom with my desk and you remember how I changed all that around? I have not done the video showing our classroom yet which I'm going to be doing wow in this light you really can't see my band-aid hmm I feel like a man who had a bad shaving experience freaking little bastard mosquito anyway um uh so yes I've had my desk in my in the classroom and I wanted to change that around because I wanted to make changes and when I do that video if y'all are interested in seeing the classroom y'all will see that and I'm going to do that video hopefully tomorrow because I've been meaning to put that up and um I had just gotten behind because of some personal issues that have been happening I have been down for the count this all this basically this whole last month I've been struggling and um I will make a video talking about that too but um anyway um I moved the um the desk everything downstairs to the front dining room if y'all saw that video where i put it in the front dining room and i was like mm, it still don't look good there it still looks like a hot mess so i had it there then after my husband left and after the whole fiasco of the whole explosion of the septic tank and all that shit that happened literally um I uh, moved it again. I moved it to another spot. So then if you saw my videos and you could see me in a different spot, I was in my living room, in the corner in my living room. Then I still did not like it there. Um, I, I didn't like it there. I, don't, I was always freezing because the floor, you know, it's hardwood floors and I was directly under a vent. I was always frozen there, which I'd rather be frozen than hot, but I just... I got too many distractions and um, I'm easily distracted by things so I was like I still don't like it here then some shit happened and I got busy and so I kind of left it alone then um, I was going to put it into my bedroom because now I have space in my bedroom to do it and I still didn't want it in there I want my bedroom to look a sanctuary so that didn't go I was like I don't know what to do I almost brought it all the way back upstairs to the classroom right where we started I'm just I have to have like an office separate than my witchy room I don't want to have I don't know about y'all but you guys like for my bedroom I like my bedroom to stay like a my little personal sanctuary for me and my husband where you know we go in there and do big business and you know hang out and we don't eat we don't take food in our bedroom we don't eat in bed you know um we don't do bills in bed you know it's a place where we can relax and spend time with one another we know whether that is laying in bed watching tv or bam chicka bam bam or you know like any of those fun things um you know i just don't want that to be i have horrible insomnia already and when i did one of my sleep studies that was one of the things that the doctor um, did explain to me like you have to take all those other distractions out of your room only leave your bedroom for sleeping and other purposes like you kind of train your body that this is what's going to happen well my husband being overseas my body has learned that honey ain't nothing happening in this bedroom you ain't sleeping you ain't getting no big business why do we even have it right but anyway um <laughs> so um 
I'm the same way with my witchy room. My witchy room is for me to create magic and for my witchy space. You guys who have witchy rooms, witchy spaces, y'all know what I'm talking about. You want your witchy room to be, you know, with all of your things, all the things that you love and the things that make it special. And that's how my witchy room is. You guys have seen my witchy room. Hold on, I'm trying to grab the phone. So you guys have seen my witchy room. This is right here where my recliner is. I have my lights under here. I took the closet doors off. Had those three slide doors. Oh, I can't stand those doors. And I don't know, just, you guys have seen it. This is my nook. This is where I sleep in here a lot. Uh, especially when I have like any type of candle magic going on my working altar. I sleep in here because I want to make sure that, you know, we're safe. You know, that these candles don't go off. Even though I have 10 smoke alarms in the house. I'm not lying. We have 10. Um... And the, the house came with five, and when we had our alarm system put in, I had them put five more. <sighs> a bitch has to be safe, you know what I mean? So, anyway, this is my witchy room at night. I think you guys have seen this at night. I don't, don't have any candles lit in here because um, at night, this stays on like this at night. You know, my Santa Martha altar over there, the, you know, the, um, my lamp stays on, my pink Himalayan salt lamp stays on. These lights stay on at night. These stay on. So I don't have any candles going on in here because I'm not in here. I just wanted to show y'all this. And let me show y'all what I where I made my office. So let's go on that little adventure. Let's go. Husband's man cave. So let's sit downstairs. Okay, we're going to go to the guest bedroom. Now this is my guest bedroom. Excuse the mess because I'm sleeping in here right now. And I will tell y'all about that whole fiasco about what's going on in my bedroom. Uh, but I'm sleeping up here for right now. And let me show y'all. So remember I used to have my witchy room. My witchy room was in this closet. This is the guest room closet. If y'all watched my videos back in the day. I had, Look at me. Oh, back in the day. But I had my uh, witchy room in this guest bedroom's closet. And so I was going to take this closet and either make it to a bathroom. I'm like, no, we are not going to make our com our guests that comfy. And then I thought uh, I was going to make it into a little sleeping nook. Because sometimes when my, um, when I have guests, if they have children, you know, I needed a place for them to sleep. But that happens very often. I mean, it's very, 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 very often. It's very rare, very often. That's very rare that that happens, that I have guests that come and we need the extra sleeping area. So I'm going to get a, what do you call it? A, uh, oh, help me now. A blow up bed for, for such occasions. So this is the closet. La -la. <laughs> I made this my second witchy space area. Do y'all love it? Let me show y'all. Hold on, I gotta turn on my lamp so y'all can get the full effect. Okay, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all without the light and then I'll turn on the light. This is just my little pumpkin lights. Y'all see these? Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Um, these are just my pumpkin lights um, and they go, I have two strings of those, but what I got right here, I didn't have enough, so I bought these from. Um, I don't know, H-E-B, I think, my grocery store. And they're still so cute, right? Look at that. Um, all right, so this is the closet where I had my witchy, my witchy uh, room. My very first witchy room. This was my actual, in all of the years I've been practicing witchcraft, I've never had a witchy space until we moved here. And I turned this closet into my witchy space. I mean, look how big it is. So let's turn on the light. All right. So this little banner here um, has like a cauldron. It's so cute. I got this at one of the dollar stores a couple of years ago. I bought like two of them. And um, I had an extra one. So when I was cleaning out this closet, I found it. And I'm like, yes. It's like Christmas when you go through shit and I go through boxes and stuff. So anyway, I just wish it was bigger to, you know, fill from wall to wall, but still super cute. Here I put a lot of like those cute little, you know, Halloween size. My witch, uh, my dream catcher that one of my coven sisters gave me. That sign, the witches and my coven sister gave me that. Um, here, those cute little 
stickers. I have these also on my witchy door. Uh, to my witchy layer. I have those going all the way straight down. I got those from the dollar store too. And they, they stick so you can peel them off really easy. You can put them on windows, books, whatever. They're so cute. Um, and this is just a little like alter actually what's underneath there is a plastic bin you know those plastic bins that you buy to store things so that has like extra like things that I don't want to throw away and I don't want to put into the garage because they're things that I want to look at but I don't need on an everyday basis so I kept that in here and decided to put this little cloth that I got at Walmart last year um, in the material department and then that little black um, dresser thing, that came off of, I don't know, it's not a dresser thing, a little stand. It came off of a bookshelf, and I broke it down, and that broke off so clean. It's like a little table, so I kept it. And, um, you know, like those hoarders who have that disease who just keep, like, random shit. But I kept it, and I'm like, I'm going to have a purpose. It's going to have a purpose one day. Anyway, so I put it there because, you know, this... That is, this is plastic. And so, you know, this never gets left unattended. I only did this for the whole ambiance to show you guys. But if I'm not in here, that is not on. Um, so I have my thing for incense. I put it like that to catch all the uh, dust. Because as much as I love these little fancy, cute little incense holders, um, they get stuff all over the place. And I actually have a really a much cuter one that I got from the from Five Below. But there ain't nothing wrong with that one just yet. I put little fairy things. My little unicorn. This Ouija board banner here. That is a tablecloth that I got from uh, Spirit. I think last year or the year before. I always go to Spirit every Halloween. And I try to buy everything from there. Because that, that, that I like for Ouija. You know, because I collect Ouija board stuff. And um, so, so far I got a lot of stuff from there. And... Um, I had it, and you actually, I've had this for two years, and I, I, it fits on my table really nice, but I don't like the way it looks on my table, and I don't decorate my house like that, you know what I mean, like, I don't decorate our house, like, with all the things like that, I mean, not even for Halloween, the house is decorated for fall all year round, and so for Halloween, I just had a couple of little things here and there, I basically decorate the outside I don't really do the inside like that because ain't nobody going over here it's just me and Jay why am I gonna do all that work now for Christmas that's another story I decorate the kitchen the guest bathroom I decorate everything for Christmas because honey I love you some Christmas and I love Halloween too but my house is fall all year round my witches stay out all year round you know might have my witchy room you know so my house is more than Halloweenish for me all year round but for Christmas, I start decorating in November. And I know some people are like, oh my God, that's so early. But because I decorate everything. Like, and I, I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Like, I got to go <laughs> room by room. So, mm -mm. so anyway, that is a big tablecloth. And I just stuck it on the wall. Um, <clears throat> on this side, I have my raggedy desk and raggedy chair. I am definitely going to go buy three more office chairs. I had to throw away my office chairs because... I guys, I will tell you how everything, why this has happened, why I had to throw away so many things. But anyway, um, for right now I'm just using this raggedy chair because I haven't gone to Walmart to go get any more. That will happen soon. Um, these are just like, see, and this is why I didn't want it anymore because it's not the cutest stuff. Like my husband, he has some cute shit from Ikea. He's got a cute desk from Ikea, cute lamp and, you know, chair. Like, how come I got the peasant stuff? But it's all right. It's all right. Um, this works just fine. I got this very fine desk at Goodwill like five years ago for fifteen dollars. Um, I got that there for ten dollars. No, six dollars for that whole piece right there. And these are two pieces, and I got those each for five dollars. I mean, come on. And this I got from the dollar store for I think ten or twelve dollars. And then, of course, you know, those things from Walmart don't cost nothing. I don't care. It's all about K. It works. But anyway, my husband's like, we need to buy you some new um, 
desk furniture. I'm like, well, that's what you feel. But don't you give it to me for no holiday. Like, it better not be for no Christmas birthday or anything like that. It might, it's just let it be just because. Let's say buying a vacuum for your birthday. Ah, what kind of gift is that? <laughs> so, anyway, this is fine. I'm good with that. Um, these are drawings that my brother did. Um, he is an artist. He did this Wonder Woman and that Wonder Woman because I love me some Wonder Woman. Um, and I actually got to put up my Wonder Woman stuff back in the day. Again, here we are back in the day, back in the 1920s. No, back in the day, um, I used to collect Wonder Woman stuff. I had so many things, but I lost all that stuff. And uh, we will not talk about that tragic story. But but no, I lost all my Wonder Woman stuff, comic books and all kinds of stuff. We've moved on. Okay, so this is the beginning of my new collection. And I don't want to go crazy getting stuff like I did before. Before I had so much stuff. And I don't really want to start collecting things like that from Wonder Woman. You know, some people are like, oh, this is a Wonder Woman this and a Wonder Woman that. I only collect certain things and a lot of these things were gifts. So up here, actually, I the only thing that I bought was that Dr. Pepper, that very fine Dr. Pepper can. Um, and uh, I think that Wonder Woman up there I bought, but other than that, everything else was given to me. So um, look at that cute. Piggy bank. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's move on. Up here is just going to be like random magazines and um, spirals of things that I have. And that has a bunch of cards in it. And those are my business cards underneath there for my photography. So that this is just going to be random stuff. Here is a drawing that my daughter did, um, Moon did like back when she was in high school. Uh, she did this for her art class. And she would hate that I would be showing this show mom, mom, you know, her drawing, her, her, her level of artwork has, oh my God, it is amazing. But this is how it started. And I love this photo because I love what it says. We were born to die. I don't know. I just, I love that photo. So this, my cousin drew, these are copies of their drawings or paintings. My cousin did that. Again, everybody can draw except for me. I'm like stick people. My cousin did that. Here, uh, my brother, the one who did Wonder Woman, did this. Darth Maul is my favorite. He's using my favorite colors, black and red. Look at his eyes. I see you, girl. I see you, girl. <laughs> and then this, my other brother did. I have six brothers. All of them can draw. Except for me. You know, my mother can draw. I don't know if my sister can, but like, how come that didn't come down this way? Yeah, I can't draw a thing. Um, and these are just things I got from the dollar store. You know, these little things. And here's my Supernatural. Mm. And then, um, my bumper sticker. And these are just have things. I still need to organize all this stuff. Um, this is the desk that I work at and good Lord, look, look who's looking at me. My cover sister sent this to me as a gag gift because she knows how much I love me some Jason and you can pop out the eyes so you can put this on your lover and be like, Oh, hi Jason. But you know, my husband had to be unconscious or completely drunk before he let me put this on him. So that's okay. He's going to sit right there when I'm working. He sits there and he's like, hey girl, what's up? <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I know, right? I'm a hot mess. And then that's the thing that I bought my, my, not that I bought, but my sister bought this for me for my birthday. I absolutely love this. It's just, I can sit here and just look at it for hours. Let's turn the lights off. Let's get the whole, let's get the whole thing. Good Lord. Look how Jason is just glowing with this orange light. Okay. Let's get back to this. <laughs> look at that isn't that beautiful and then this is my little um teapot that my other coven sister gave me my coven sisters are so good to me aren't they they just give me so much cute stuff i just love them you anyway, know she gave me this it's so beautiful i absolutely love that um my um 
Stranger Things poster. I haven't bought a poster since like grade school, but I love that poster. How you doing? Okay, okay, that's the last time. Okay. <laughs> You're mental. Okay, up here is um, all of my books. Now, this is the thing that I really liked. I like having all my books up here because if you guys are like me, where you have books in one room, books in your bedroom, books in the kitchen, books in the living room, books here, books. I have books so, like, all throughout the house, right? Okay, look at that. Okay, so I have to stand on a chair because... Oh, I can't reach anything. I can touch it. <laughs> See? Um, yeah. Oh, look at, look at Luis's book. This is Sencisto Brujo Luis's book. If you guys have not read it, y'all should read it. It's quite good. Um, so a lot of the books that mean things to me, I try to stand them. I try to do some type of random stuff, like miscellaneous of Anna Riva books there, mixed with hoodoo, voodoo. Um, here's, uh, Voodoo, Santeria Apollo, um, like, yeah, Voodoo and Hoodoo Santeria Apollo. There are a lot of my little Bibles. I'd like to collect those Bibles. Um, don't know if they're worth anything, but I do like to collect them. A variety of different books. Here are all my books on, like, the history of witchcraft. A lot of my Salem, um, the Salem uh, Witch Trials. I, these are amazing books that, again, one of my coven sisters gifted me. She gifted me one from The Witch Up. One, two, three, four, five, six of those books. Amazing. Um, here are more books that I like. Those are a lot of miscellaneous books back there. Um, again, I try to do some order, but then I got tired. I'm like, eh. And then these are like divination books like on you know dreams in numerology and things demon books books on herbs um, home remedies oils and crystals there's some kind of order but you know I like I said I just I just did this I did this um what did I do this oh and down here those are books on angels saints gods and goddesses uh, deities you know and so on all these books are on um Sabbaths and these are books that I am currently reading right now like I pick those up and I read like four or five chapters out of each of those books um that's how I get through so many books I read like four or five books at one time you know because I like to read something completely different each time um then of course in there I don't know if you can see but in there I have all my other this is my guest bedroom and in here I have all of my other these are all of my other non magical books so some of them are magical i do have some books over there on um ghost hunting and stuff but here are just a variety of different types of books uh, if you ever want to see what i have here just let me know and i will give you all a tour of what i have um but anyway so yeah that's that's my little office and i like i said the reason why i put the books in here was because i definitely got tired of going back and forth up and down the stairs um looking for my books and you know i don't know if you guys are like me hold on my sister got to sit down hey girl look at her hey girl <laughs> okay all right i know i'm hot mess um but um yeah i kind of got tired of having my books all around i couldn't find any of my books and you know and i i just uh, or if i'm working on my book of shadows or things like that I have them all scattered everywhere so you know with my books of shadows I had some of them downstairs and then I had half of them upstairs and so when I want to work on something I'm having to go up and down or I was bringing stuff down I just had a pile of this a pile of that it was just like oh so I really like this so much better um you know, I'm I'm claustrophobic, but I don't feel claustrophobic at all in here. And my husband's like, well, you're not going to have a window in here. Because he knows how I am. And I'm like, but for some strange feeling, I know this, this looks horrible. Um, but for some strange feeling, I feel very um, at home in here. I feel very comfortable in here. Um, and 
even though that um jade never really bothers me too much and so you know and of course when she comes in here she doesn't bother me at all i'm just saying like she doesn't bother me as, as far as like screaming and hollering running around where i'm not i can't make videos because there's constant screaming in the background it's not like that and that's what i mean by bother because she she doesn't bother me at all but i mean just when i'm making videos um also um you know when I made a video one time and my phone, the house phone was ringing. God dang, that house phone like, you know, goes off. And so even though I had one um, handset downstairs and one upstairs, well, um, I would shut the one off in front of me, but the one upstairs kept ringing. And so you could hear it through my video. So um, YouTube like wouldn't let me collect any money from one video because it said that I was had a copyright song in there. I'm like, oh, no, 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 because I make sure I don't have any music or anything like that. Sometimes I make videos and I play music and I know that I'm not gonna collect anything on it, but it's a, it's a choice that I make. But with this one, I know I didn't. But it was a phone that was ringing and the, the ringtone of the phone was some Beethoven's, you know, song. And so it said that it was copywriting. So I could not collect on that. So this way I can just close the door, keep the phones in there, and I can make my videos in here and not be disturbed at all. So that's one thing that, another reason why I really like having my little seclusion in here. Um, and um, when I was little, um, I used to have this room. Hold on a second, Jade? Jade? Close that door, the air conditioner is so loud. That's why I had it closed. Okay. Uh, when I was little, um, I used to have a, um, a room in the closet. We used to live in this house and uh, I had a room. Um, there were so many of us. I, I have six brothers and one sister. And um, I remember my mom made my room in this closet. It was like a hall closet and it was kind of like a closet like this. But of course, when you're little, you know, it seems ginormous. Then when you go back as an adult and you look at you like, oh my God, this is so small. And I thought this was huge, but I haven't seen it as an adult, but I'm just saying, you know, sometimes um, I'm in my mind, I remember it being really big, but it was probably, you know, smaller than I can imagine. But anyway, um, uh, it was like a long, deep closet, and my mom had my twin bed like cr a lot lengthwise across, and then so the front part of it was like my room area. So when you first walked in, there was um, like a big space where you could had shelves and things, and I used to play, and then it had my bed at the very end. There was no windows or anything like that, but I would go in my closet and I would play for hours in there, and I loved being secluded in there. I felt like I was like in a little cave or something and nobody bothered me in my closet. And I had that room for, I think, um, maybe a year and a half that we lived there. I loved it. And I remember that in the back of the house, it had like, um, um, I, I don't know, like a spare house or a guest house, a guest house. Maybe that's what I'm thinking, not a spare house, a guest house. <laughs> and so my two older brothers moved in there. And um, so everybody kind of shifted rooms, right? So one of the smaller rooms were available to me. And so they're like, you can have a room now with an actual, like an actual room. And I looked at it and I really liked it, but it had like glass doors and you had a big window. And I was like, this is really pretty. It had like wood floors and all that. But I'm like, no, I'm gonna stay in my closet. And they're like, you don't want this room? I'm like, no, I want my closet. And, um, so they're like, okay. And then my mom decided she wanted to use a closet for storage. And I'm like, just put the stuff in the room. She's like, no, because, you know, it wouldn't look right. What, like, living, like, making me live in the closet is right all this time. And now you feel like it's not right. But okay. So anyway, long story short, she made me move into the bedroom. And I hated it. I really did hate it. I didn't like being in there. Um, I just felt like, like my little, it was like my little clubhouse, you know. But anyway, so when I got this, and um, I did this on, um, what day did I do this? Um, okay, so my daughter came over 
last Sunday to help me move things. And um, then the next day, I decided that I was going to make this my office. I was going to make this into a bedroom. I was going to order a a, a day bed and put the day bed long ways and make it like a little gypsy, bohemian style bedroom in here with lights and everything. But then I, that's when I decided I really don't have... How often do I have visitors I, that would use this? It would never be used. It would be a waste of a room. Then I thought about making this like a personal library. Kind of like what I have right now. All the books up here and then more bookshelves here. And then put something comfy to lay in a place to come and read, right? And then I thought, well, how often would I use that? And my witchy room for that. Um, and so, anyway, I kind of went back and forth. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to make this my office. And so, and my daughter's like, yeah, that would be a good idea. And she was like, yeah, you should make this your office. And make it into something. And so, anyway, we kind of discussed it. On that following Monday, I had to come in here and um, clean it out. Um, and uh, But I cleaned out this closet on Saturday. Sunday, my daughter came to help me move things to the garage that I had from in here. And then that Monday, I started redoing everything. And I had a few things that I was saving in here. So I had to take all that downstairs to the garage. And then sweep it all out, clean it all out, and then start moving things in here. And the hardest thing was that I had all this stuff downstairs. I had all of my bookshelves, the desk, everything was downstairs. I had piles and piles of books. I swear, I should have had my Apple Watch on so I could have tracked my steps. Because I think I, did, I went up and down those stairs, I don't know how many times. And I'm just like, oh man, I was so tired. Everything was like, I was determined though to finish. Um, and I did. I finished like, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the morning or so. But it was very, very rewarding after I was done and I, you know, got everything, you know, put up and I got, it was just the books. The books was a, the worst thing, hauling books up and down. And then once I hauled those books up, I had to go to my witch room, which was just across the hallway here. I mean, across the catwalk um, and, um, and bring books from there to here. If y'all remember in my witch room, I have a bookshelf there and it was full of books. And then I had books all over the floor. And I was running out of space. And I didn't know where to get another bookshelf. So anyway, long story short on that. Brought all those in here. So now the only thing that's in my witchy room. The only books that are in my witchy room. Are my books of shadows. And my fairy books. Those I kept all in there. But all my other witchy books are here. And I have room to put more now. You know. Um, so I have. You know I can get little bookshelves. Like little half bookshelves. And put more books once I start getting to that level. But yeah, I definitely love my little office. This is the first time that I have put my office up and I actually love it. First time. This little raunchy desk and raunchy little, you know, sidekicks here have been all throughout the house. <laughs> this is the first time that I have it somewhere where I'm like, I think I found its home. So like I said, I'm going to add like a little rug here in the middle, but this rug is really fabulous in here because nobody ever uses it's like really nice and soft and everything but I want to put something cute just like for the look give me a nice comfy office chair um and organize all of this stuff like you know right now it's just kind of like thrown in there kind of do some organization of my office stuff but other than that I really don't want to do anything else in here other than just what I have I think it's perfect all right, guys, I just wanted to show you all that I am ready to go and wash my makeup off my face, whatever's still left on because I had a bath, and um, watch some YouTube videos. And um, this is my video for October 2nd. Hopefully, I can stay on track and maybe try to do a video every single day. I'm going to try, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, as always, love you all, and blessed be. Bye.